this is part two of how to get smooth skin Welcome back to the channel, Roy One. Today's topic is all about having glowing skin and how you can have your skin radiating as you're going throughout your day. See, the radiation is energy. Where do you get the energy from? You must get some type of superfood. Superfoods are great because they give your cells energy to repair and grow your skin and to also get rid of dead skin. The superfood that I particularly use is something called Dr. Schultz Superfood Plus. I've talked about this tons of times in multiple videos in detail for anybody that would like to know more information about that particular superfood i will place the link at the bottom for you guys you have to figure out the particular superfood that will work for you whether spirulina chlorella um a combination of them uh, i use them i use cacao i use coconut oil i use a whole bunch of stuff on a regular basis and I'm always rotating to make sure that I'm putting the things in my body that it needs. Your body needs tools. Make sure that you get them. Secondly is to what? Move. You have to move. It is imperative that you move. Without movement, you cannot get rid of toxins. There's a couple of ways that you get rid of toxins. It's the urination, defecation, breathing, and sweating. If you guys know something that's additional to that, please let me know. These are the methods that I know to get rid of the, uh, and detoxify your body. Now, the reason I'm focusing on sweating is because when you're sweating, you're breathing, right? <laughs> because you're doing some kind of exercise that is really pumping your heart and making you breathe to get rid of the toxins and to sweat it out your skin. If you're sweating it out your skin, your skin gets rid of the toxins. It's getting rid of the toxins. It's getting rid of everything that does not belong there. The more you sweat, the better off you are. I'm such a big proponent of it myself. I actually got down with a personal trainer recently, about three months ago, to give me a little bit of extra motivation to move the body. In the dungeon with my trainer. I'm putting that work today in the dungeon. Come on. Let's get into the third one. What is the third one? It is drinking water. We must drink a decent amount of water. I was going to say a lot. And I chose not to say a lot because when people hear a lot of water, sometimes they they oh I don't want to drink too much water. Or the opposite spectrum where I have friends that says, man, I drink tons of water. I ask them how much do they drink. They say about two or three bottles a day. Which is ludicrous, right? That's not a lot of water. Now, your body's made from 70 to 80 percent water and that includes your brain right so if you want to function at the highest levels you need to include incorporate massive amounts of water the bare minimum you should be drinking is one liter of water i usually drink either between two and three liters of water a day on a good day i'm probably drinking a little bit more than that especially if i'm extremely active Water is paramount. Now, sometimes, you know, I can't get to uh, 
of uh, some place that has a uh, triple filtered water in a glass jar, right? I live in the real world. Sometimes I just glad grab a bottle of Poland Spring or whatever and make it happen, right? No water, some water is better than no water. Some of my friends are like, oh my God, are you crazy drinking out of plastic bottles? Drinking out of plastic bottles, don't you know they have the hormone disruptors and they have BPAs and TTTs and WBBs all up in the water, right? <laughs> now, look, I live in the real world. I can't get to this stuff all the time, you know? So I'm going to make sure that I'm hydrating myself regardless, you know? and do what I can. The whole purpose of being on this planet is not to be perfect, it's to do your best. And don't get stressed out trying to do this stuff because then it defeats the purpose. You want to feel good, you want to feel happy, you want to have energy, you want to kind of go with the flow. You know, you could prepare, you could bring your own water and different things like that, but sometimes you just can't and you have to go with the flow. So just make sure you get your water. Wait a minute, let me give you guys a bonus. The bonus should have like a little sound. Cue in the sound right now. The bonus is to get out in the sun. Getting out in the sun is a must because the sun produces so many rays and vitamin D and God knows what else that we haven't figured out yet that really makes us feel healthy and vital. Now sometimes a lot of us don't get out in the sun as much because it may be winter or we may be working indoors. If you're doing that, get some vitamin D3. I purchase a lot of vitamin D3 and when I'm indoors like that, I make sure that I take between 2,000 IUs, probably like 5,000 IUs. And whenever I did that, especially in January and February, people always thought that I went to a different country somewhere if they haven't seen me in a while because I always have a tan. I usually get two to three shades darker once I'm taking this stuff. And of course I feel great because it, for some reason something about vitamin D just makes you feel good. It's the feel good hormone. So if you can, make sure that you're taking that stuff. I hope these tips helped you because they help me every single day and the other people that I talk to about it. So make sure you follow these steps. Create your own steps. Just make sure that you're putting positive things in your body. You're sweating, you're moving, you're drinking tons of water, you're getting out in the sun, and you're having fun. 